Mr. Z, my nigga, my real G. Me and this dude go as far back as 2G. I knew this cat back in primary school school before you went to blue. Masero Kwadin, the hoodie came up. Well, I remember old visits at Mbilo above convention center with the big man on PlayStation vibes. Moved upstate with the moms to her house. Your boy is born listening to underground hip hop. Smoking blunts, drinking and clubbing, doing all kinds of crazy ish. But for real though, when it comes to the raps, my boy been holding it down for a minute. He's a poet. Author and MC. I got schooled by the man about the rap game, Alhan Nellis. <laughs> now we're here dropping verses in my series. I accompanied him to Bloom Tourist Center when he was catching a bus to Joburg to live in Soweto while pursuing a record deal. Revelation, aka Master J, Master Jamal Hakim. From Village Lochies to St. David's, it would be the mad MC with skills in the mind. 2015, he's dropping knowledge. It's that moment those who know him have been waiting for. 2015 mixtape drops, you heard? The Prodigal Son mixtape by Fate 2, uh, Mad Musician. As you all know, when the project first came out, it was in uh, May 2015. The title was Revelation. That's like my original name when I was going out commission since 2005 when I dropped my first uh, EP about the Grand EP. And uh, my critical acclaimed debut album was. My critically acclaimed debut album was Upon a Time in Hip Hop that I later changed into the Lost album. Yeah. Now, when you look at the cover and you see like, okay, it's now Mad Musician, the Prodigal Sun mixtape. Don't worry, don't worry. Still the same OG, still the same vibes, still everything. Only thing that happened was I had to go register the stuff at SABC. So that's when now the name had to flip from the stage name to the brand name. Otherwise, man, the Prodigal Sun mixtape is now available online. Um, shout out to my homie man, executive producer, co-producer, project manager, business manager, business partner, Skyfian, holding it down, taking it out there and saying, yo man, Prodigal Sun mixtape, train music, Stone Castle music. So right now, you can have it all over the world man, from your smartphone, your laptop, anyway, you got it like that. So the Prodigal Sun mixtape, story behind it is just simple. I was about to drop the mic and just do clothing. But I was like, nah, I gotta push this clothing somehow. So the only thing that I know how to do is what? MC! And there you go. I dropped the mixtape. I dropped the clothing label, the merchandise. Even when you check on the cover there, I'm rocking the, the merchandise. The sweater as well as the skull cap or the beanie, however way you like it. So yeah, man, it's out there. The Prodigal Sun mixtape. Even they even thought it was an album. Psych! But it wasn't. That's how good it is. <laughs> Twenty fifteen May. May. I don't remember if it was the middle of the month or the middle of the month, but I remember that it was twenty fifteen May. And I had like fifty copies in a backpack. Yeah, and they all sold out. And then after that, I did more and more and more and more. I even lost count. But don't worry, we're gonna do something special for you guys. I think somewhere in the future, we're gonna get a merchandise plus a free disc for those you know diehard fans. But other than that, man, everything now go digital. I'm not gonna mix stories between elemental of the ground and the credits, but it's fine. Okay, good people. You know, I have been rapping for a very, very long time. From when I was in school, living in the flats, moving from this city to that city, this country to that country, this bonaki to that bonaki. Now, when this tape came out, like I said earlier on, people thought it was an album. Can't you know? It was a mixed tape, but the way it sounds like by the album. Now, the impact it had, it saw me uh, reach out to childhood friends, you know, people that I grew up with in uh, kindergarten, my old neighborhood, uh, out there, also to even some homies back in uh, the mall and even the free state. 
man, even some high school buddies, man, I'm like, wow, this is like unbelievable, you know. And the nice part about it is that um, I used to literally feed myself. You know, you have like your five CDs in the bag and you like selling 50, you know, bucks a pop. And hey man, you go to sleep at night, hey bro, you got, you know, you got like you know life is moving you're like you're like you're literally eating like eating off your music and i was like wow i'm not even signed to a record label but i managed to get a room and buy food ah man this is like wow but yo man the prodigal son it, it really gave me something like it I wasn't anticipating this with the last album, even the collaborations with other artists that I'm not gonna mention here because this is my shine, this is my light. I'm gonna talk about no niggas, but yo, I got enough for these niggas. <laughs> um, people played it on the radio. People saw the video come out, supermodel video. It did quite well apparently because even to this day, people are still seeing to me. Then when I can talk away now. Like on TV, you would imagine Africa. Africa is a huge, a huge continent. And people are watching you literally from Cape to the Cairo. You know what I'm saying? People in Botswana, Swaziland, Namibia, Kenya, Mozambique, even all nine provinces of South Africa, people are like, hey, man. Hey, that's the guy. Hey, I used to go to school with that guy. Then boom, you get an inbox on Facebook, you get the, you know, a holla at the streets, like, hey, that's the guy. So, the nice thing is that I also feature a legend, she, she's a very profound artist, uh, African pop queen, that was so true, uh, very angelic voice, very energetic presence, you know, even the traditional attire on the video, it said a lot about, uh, the beauty of an African queen or an African daughter, uh, woman of the soil, woman of the motherland. It's, it's a pure classic, even till today. It's 2020, came out in 2015. People are still saying it's an amazing track, you know. Even got nominated for an award, uh, Ultimate FM Award. That's how, you know, the reception was. And coming to think of it, these are the things that I used to dream about when I was a kid. If you see, I've, I've, I've got a keyboard on my lap. I used to have a toy keyboard when I was a child, even a toy guitar. And you know, even in the chorus, there's a chorus there, check number three or two, on the political sounding state, the chorus goes like this. I want the guitar and then a keyboard for my body to step to be a big boy. I want a guitar and then a keyboard for my body's too stiff to be a keyboard. Embracing culture, embracing the music, embracing the heritage. The prodigal son next team.